let's talk about the dynamic section in Cubase. And um, I've set up this channel, the bass drum channel, I've soloed it. Let's make it a little bit quieter, so you can see it's quite loud. Okay, we get to the dynamic section in Cubase by clicking on the dynamic um, light here, light, dynamic switch. Now we've got the channel settings for the bass drum, the bass drum channel, channel 1. And this is a separate window to the VST channel mixer, as you can see. The channel mixer is down here. And this window here is just for the very first channel. We've got insert effects, which, we, which we're going to talk about later on. The um, send effects. And this here is the dynamic section of, of, um, of that channel. And let's start by looking at the different features here. We've got the auto gate feature, the compressor, um, the soft clip up here, a limiter, and an auto level section. This is the signal flow at the moment. It goes into the auto gate first, then into the auto level, then the compressor, soft clip, and limiter. This is the signal flow. And if you've got done some settings here and you want to check what it com sounds like compared to the original, then you can quickly click on bypass as well. Um, and you can also switch off all of them in one go as well. Now let's um, switch on the um, the bass drum again and let's start with the gate to see what happens if we change some of the values. The green line means that the gate is open, the yellow light means the gate is closing and the red light means that the gate is closed. And as you can see here Every time you hear the bass drum, the green light's on. And then just after the bass drum, it goes into the yellow light. And after a little while, the gate closes completely just before the next bass drum hit makes the gate open again and the green light goes on. These are the settings for the gate. We've got the threshold, the attack time, which is on a um, predict setting at the moment, the hold and the release. If we wanted to, we could we could class the bass drum sound as noise, for example, and say anything that's below 0 dB shall be turned off. So this channel is completely quiet now. This is um, this is one of the um, users for for a gate. If you were, f to example, for um, if you record like lots of people singing and talking and things like that, and you don't want the coughs in between um, the different takes, then you can use the gate function to to um, silence all the bits in between the parts that you want to keep. Now if we gradually lower the threshold we can see that some of, some of the bass drum sounds come back in again. Now the threshold is at minus 7.5 um, even though the reading says here minus 10 it probably means that there's a tiny little bit of a peak that just about reaches through the threshold and um, and the gate doesn't open completely it just it's just in the process of opening and then it closes again straight away but if we go a little bit further down the gate is opening now as well and if we for example increase the hold time you can see that the gate never ever sh um, shuts anymore. The gate is always either completely open or in the process of closing. A very long hold time means the gate is always open um, for, the, for, the, for, the, um, for the bass drum. If the bass drum was to stop, then the gate would gr gradually close again. Now we decrease the hold time and the gate starts to close again. Here is a setting for the for the time it takes for the gate to actually close. Um, the gate is not held open at all. That means as soon as the bass drum um, goes past, the gate will want to shut again. So if we um, change the release time to something longer, again it's got the um, impression or it's got the um, effect that the gate is in the process of closing. Now 
it's a very very slow release time which means um the gate is is, is closing but it doesn't really close very much so I'll take the this one down to the to the very low level attack this is the attack time of the gate now I'm going to increase the volume a little bit so we can hear the bass drum a bit better Now I'm going to increase the attack time, which means that it takes a little while for the gate to actually open. So the bass drum hits the um, hits the, the sound waves or the, 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 the peaks or whatever, and it takes a little while for the gate to open, which means that we lose the initial attack of the of the bass drum sound. And now the bass drum sounds a lot softer. This is even softer than it was before because we're just getting the oomph bit of the bass drum sound and not the actual d part of it. So this is the bit that we're missing now. That's all gone. Very quick. We've got a very very quick bass drum attack and you can see here that the gate doesn't really close anymore. Well it does but it's not really, it doesn't stay in the process of closing and for very long. It goes from open straight down to closed. And you might even be able to hear the little ticks that we've got here. This is very quick soften this by um, double clicking maybe giving it one or two milliseconds a whole time see the little ticks have almost gone and the bass drum is very very tight now if I switch the gate off or if I bypass the dynamic section that's the original bass drum hear that it's a lot tighter here now. Very very tight. With this one has got like a leathery feel around it. A bit like woom woom. But this one here is like uh, 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 uh. very very strong very tight bass drum sound. The auto gate is also uses also uses the um, trigger frequency area. And basically the auto gate or the trigger frequency range means that the gate will open according to which frequencies you want the gate to listen out for. So if you want the gate to open with bass drum sound, choose the low frequency area. Let's start the bass drum again. And switch the um, frequency function on as well. So th this means that this area here is working as well now. If I was to choose a high frequency area, high frequency range, see the um, the gate never ever opens because the gate is listening for high frequency material in the in the region of between 1k and 5k kilohertz that is, and you can hear nothing basically, which means the gate can't hear anything happening in that frequency range. Now here you can hear the top end of the bass drum just squeaking through the gate here and it causes the gate to open ever so slightly now the gate is shut as well because it only lets through very very low signals and here we've got the very very low end of the gate And it's almost got the impression as if the bass drum sound has, has become a lot deeper as well. But this is probably just because just the very low end causes the gate to open and the low end is the most predominant sound. And we can't really hear the high end bits. Okay, you can, you can listen out for the sounds. If you're not quite sure where the sounds are, then you just switch this one here to listen. 
Now here we can still hear the bass drum pounding away and in that frequency area up here. But obviously the uh, the levels the bass drum is creating are are very very small. Not these ones here. These are the full bass drum sounds, but the levels that come to the um, frequency range here are very very low. So we'd have to lower the threshold quite dramatically, maybe. See, we're on minus 36, which is very very low, or minus 40. And now we're getting some movement here at minus 52 dB. Okay, now the gate opens and, and closes again at that level, and it works. So if we go for on, it means that this frequency area here triggers the gate to open, and because the gate opens, we can hear the full bass drum sound again. Okay, so we can see something happening. If I go down here, for example, we can see that the gate almost never opens. Just now, only now and again. Yep, let's stick with that one. If I switch the gate on now, we can't hear nothing. Okay, so now the frequency range is working. It's triggering up um, for high. It's working, listening for high frequencies that pass minus 16.5 dB. None of them are going through, which means the gate is always closed. But as soon as we lower this a little bit, the gate starts to open now and again. Obviously, if we in increase the frequency range. We'll get more elements coming in, and we've got more activity here as well, so the gate will open more often. But you could use this also not just to listen and then switch the gate on, but you could use this function to actually filter certain sounds. In musical context you wanted to as well. You could keep the channel like this and go to the next channel and work on your other sounds and use this as a very quick or very very powerful filter.